When I was at IU in 1971, a guy from Campus Crusade for Christ came and knocked on my door and said that Andre Cole was going to be speaking at the IU Auditorium. You know, he gave an invitation uh, to make a commitment to Christ. And I made a commitment to Christ that night, not only to make him uh, commit my life to Christ, but to make him Lord of my life that night. After graduation, I went to um, Indianapolis and lived there for a short while. And that's where, as of there, I met my first wife. We were married, like I said, in 76. And by 1981, we had two kids. And then in 1985, something happened that I wasn't um, emotionally or uh, spiritually ready to happen. Uh, I had become exposed to HIV through the blood clotting products. I felt dirty and unclean and it was as if I couldn't shower enough times to get the stench off my body. I walked away from God and I walked away from the church and um, I even isolated myself from my wife and my kids. I don't know what I was thinking. I was just angry and embittered. In 2001, three things happened in my life that year that I wasn't quite ready for. My wife of 23 years left me and divorced me. I severed my left thumb off in a shop accident. Then I went through Hodgkin's lymphoma, laying on my bedroom floor and just crying out to God, why? Why me? I don't think at that point in time it was tears of repentance. I just was trying to understand why. But then my son um, said to me, why don't you try going to the same church I'm going to right now? And I, I so I said, okay, and I went. And to make a long story short, that became my divorce recovery. God turned those tears into, into a healing in my heart that I hadn't experienced in a long time. He's always, he's, he was always with me. I found that out when I relented and said, God, you can have my heart. I surrender to you. I, I'm not going to do this anymore on my own. You can have my heart. You can have my suffering. You can have me. I'm going to do it your way, and I'm going to totally surrender to you. That's when he gave me my peace, and that's when he gave me my joy back. Uh, by this time, I, I was thinking that I would live this earth, I would walk this earth alone the rest of my life, but yet God gave me the capacity to love again. And he opened up my heart to a young woman named Debbie. We married in Fellowship Hall in Bethesda Church here. I just look at her and, and I just, uh, I praise God for her every day and I, I just look at her as a treasure. We have been primarily being used as right now to help our children. Uh, she has been going over to help our grand, her grandchildren. Um, on, on babysitting every Friday morning. I wouldn't say babysitting, but helping form their years. She's been teaching them and babysitting them and playing that grandma role to their kids. And as far as my kids are concerned, she has become one of the best stepmoms to them that they can ever have. I'll be entering hepatitis C uh, treatments for the third time and that will have a brutal impact on the body. But you know, the suffering that Jesus Christ went through was horrible, much more horrible than what I'll ever go through. I can embrace that suffering and use that to go through as a model for me to get through this. 
I'm, go I'm not, I'm not going to run from it like I did before. But he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you. For my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly of my weakness, so that the power of Christ may rest upon me. For the sake of Christ, then, I am content with weaknesses, insults, hardships, persecutions, and calamities. For when I am weak, then I am strong. My, my basic desire is to be an example to my children and my grandchildren so that they could see a man who is uh, faithful and as far as those who are unsaved, I hope that they see in me a man who has the peace and the hope and contentment that only comes through faith in Christ. That's my greatest desire, above all, for those people who are unsaved, that they would see the Christ in me and that they would seek the Savior. My name is Dave Curry, and Jesus is my Lord. Thank you.